Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Corinne Johnson and today I'm doing a mauve cut crease makeup look for you guys. Man, I really love the way this look looks on me. It is really gorgeous and I know that you'll be able to do it as well because it's quite simple. And I'm also getting better at my cut crease these days. And let's dive into this look already. <laughs> See me looking gorgeous. I really love this look as you can see. And then I'll be starting out with my Evershim pencil. I'm also going to make sure that I just uh, create some strokes on my brows and just use my Maybelline foundation in warm coconut to define my brows. I'm using my LA Girl concealer in warm honey as well. For my brows to so just make sure that I define my brows properly. I'm also tapping that same concealer on my eyelid and going for this Morphe and Jacqueline Eel palette. It is a mauve popish palette. I really love I really love this palette because it gives me that purple vibe. So I'm applying this plum color on my eyelids, making sure that I blend this in properly. I'm also using this brighter color. It's also in the purple family to um, brighten up that dark plum color I used earlier. I'm using this uh, mauve color from the same palette. I'm applying it on the upper part of my brows just to create some highlights. And I'm defining my crease with my concealer. I just want to make sure that I blend, you know, just so that there are no funny lines appearing under the eyeshadow. And then I'm cutting my second crease as well. Like cut crease is going to get easier. I'm going to be doing more cut crease these days for you guys because I really love cut crease. You just need to practice. You just have to practice whatever you do and you definitely get better at it. It's not easy. <laughs> you know, I used to admire cut crease a lot. And even though I do a lot of, on people, um, doing it on myself can be so funny at times. So I'm using this other brighter eyeshadow from the same palette it is a mauve eyeshadow it has a tint of lilac in it like a reflection of lilac and beige i think it's a mixture and i am also making sure that i blend this deeper color into that eyeshadow and then you just want to make sure that you blend so that it is seamless and also going back to that same bright color on the other eye and I'm applying a reasonable amount to cover the concealer. I'm also using my Marlboro pencil under my eyelids. I really don't like um, using anything under my eyelids, but you know, this makeup has to look pink. I'm also applying the plum color to um, blend out the black pencil and back to my pons. I'm using this oil control to control the oil on my face and back to my foundation. And there we go, the blending starts. You just want to make sure that you blend and blend properly because your makeup only looks awesome when it is well blended. And I'm using this concealer in Warm Only by LA Girl under my eyes, on my nose, my forehead, my cupid bow, and my chin. I just want to blend. Let us blend. What am I saying? <laughs> This is the best part for me though when it comes to blending uh, foundation or concealer. I love blending concealer. It makes the under eyes you know, really pop bright even if you were asleep. By the time you apply this concealer you're good to go. Just want to make sure that you blend. I'm blending one on my nose, my cupid bow, my chin and my forehead. <laughs> And then I'm applying this powder from Sasha Cosmetics, Buttercup Powder. It is a very smooth powder. I'm making sure that I apply it on the areas that I lighted. I'm blending it all out. 
I'm also using this BH Cosmetics eyeliner. I really love this eyeliner. I don't want it to finish. <laughs> so I'm back to my Mabrook mascara and let's brush this on girls. Let us brush this on. And next is my Milani powder and just making sure that I powder my face. This is a warm 109 powder. I really love the warmness on my skin. Like everything I'm using is quite warm, isn't it? And I'm also using this CoverGirl um, bronzer. This was a bronzer I said broke, so I had to press it on because I needed to continue using it. <laughs> so I'm using this highlighter from Elf Cosmetics. It is apricot and it's so lovely. I like the way it melts into my skin and the shimmer is so gorgeous. I'm applying some on my forehead, just a little bit, you know, for that glow. And I'm using this vivid pencil by Zaron. I love this pencil. It is a plum pencil, but I'm using very little this time, just so that it's not too much. And I'll be using this metallic pink um, lipstick from BH Cosmetics. And you just want to blend, girl, blend it. I'm really loving this makeup. I'm using this um, blush from Classic Makeup and to my Rimmel London, ha, huh, this makeup look is standing already like I'm feeling myself. Can you guys see? I hope you can create this look as well. I really love the outcome of this makeup. Please give a comment down below and also subscribe. Tell me if you love for me to create any other look. Thank you so much. Love you. Bye. <laughs>